Do you ever think about what happens to those massive oil and gas rigs that are like out in the ocean when you know they become obsolete or like reach the end of their lives? No? Fair enough. But it turns out that they actually do get decommissioned. This will have to happen across the country, in WA, in the NT, and in Victoria. In fact, in Victoria's Bass Strait, there are 23 of these offshore oil and gas rigs. 19 of them are owned by ExxonMobil, and according to them, 13 aren't producing anything. One of the reasons that this is happening is Australia is moving away from fossil fuels to reach a goal of net zero carbon emissions by 2050. And we're doing this because, according to so many experts and bodies, including the Bureau of Meteorology, that those emissions are causing the planet to heat up, which is then leading to more extreme weather events and, you know, heat waves, droughts, cyclones, floods, and fires. In Victoria, we could see the first ever decommissioning of an offshore rig in Australia. And if it's done right, it could be like the benchmark for like how to do this across the country. ExxonMobil want to decommission the rig here in Gippsland, but they will have to get approval from the Environment Minister Murray Watt to do each of these three steps. Build a site at the marine terminal, transport the rigs to the terminal, and actually dismantling the rigs. So a lot of approvals, but necessary as each of these steps, if done poorly, could have negative effects on the environment. Some environmental campaigners like Stanley Woodhouse from Friends of the Earth are in support of the decommissioning, they just want to see it done right. He's accused both the state and federal governments of being asleep at the wheel, so I wonder when they'll wake up.